Hey, what's up everybody? How are you doing today? If you're new here, my name is Tobias and today I'm going to show you guys how to connect a MIDI keyboard like I have right here to your iPhone so that you can use it with GarageBand or the BandLab app or pretty much any other smartphone DAW that there is. And you should also be able to do this with an Android device. I've never tried it with an Android device and I do not own an Android device, but I'll tell you guys how you should be able to do that in a second. And to do this, you are going to need an OTG adapter. This one right here is for an iPhone and it's also sometimes called a lightning to USB camera adapter. I got this one on Amazon Amazon, it costs $11.68, and I'll go ahead and put the link to this down in the description below in case you want to check that out for yourself. And if you do have an Android phone, there are OTG adapters for Androids, and there are also USB Type-C OTG adapters for if you have a phone with a USB Type-C port. I have never owned an Android phone, so I've never tried those out for myself, but I imagine they should work the same way as with an iPhone. And on an Android device, the app that you can use is the BandLab app, you should be able to download it for free from the Google Play Store. And for the rest of this video, I'll show you guys how it works with my iPhone XR. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is connect the OTG adapter to the USB cable of your MIDI keyboard. So there we go. And then we're going to connect the OTG adapter to my iPhone. And as you can see here, my MIDI keyboard just lit up. Gonna go ahead and open my phone and we are in GarageBand right now. And let me just do a screen recording of my phone real quick. So yeah. So as you can see, uh, it works. And it's pretty cool because even the controls on my MIDI keyboard work with GarageBand as well. And in case you prefer BandLab, we're inside BandLab right now. And if you are an Android user, this is probably the app that you'll be using. The cool thing about OTG adapters is that you can also plug in USB microphones to them. And I've made two videos on that. In one of the videos, I show how some USB microphones can be used with just the OTG adapter and your smartphone. And in the other video, I show how you can use other USB microphones with the OTG adapter, which draw a bit more power like the Blue Yeti. And I'll go ahead and put the links to those videos down in the description below in case you are interested in connecting a USB microphone to your smartphone. And when using your iPhone with the OTG adapter, there are a few issues that you might run into. The first thing is, is that you'll only be listening listening to the audio through the speakers on the iPhone. If you try to use Bluetooth headphones, you'll notice that there's a pretty big delay between when you push a key and when you hear it in your headphones. Also, when you're using your MIDI keyboard through your iPhone, the keyboard's going to be drawing power from your iPhone's battery. And you can't charge your iPhone because the OTG adapter is plugged into the charging port, unless of course you have like a wireless charger. However, I have seen online that there is another OTG adapter that's a little different from this one that may be able to solve these problems. And it has a USB port just like how this one does, but it also has a headphone jack and it also has a charging port. I don't own one of these OTG adapters and I've never tried one out, but it looks like you should be able to plug in your MIDI keyboard, plug in actual headphones so that you can monitor the audio, and charge your iPhone at the same time. It goes for $18 and I'm probably going Going to buy one to try it out, but I'll also put the Amazon link for it down in the description below in case any of you guys want to try it out. And I actually do have an older iPad here, which does have a headphone jack on it. And when you plug in your headphones, you can actually monitor the audio perfectly. However, there are a few things with both the iPhone and the iPad that I noticed don't exactly transfer over to the MIDI keyboard. For example, if you're to turn on the arpeggiator, and you make it sound like this. The arpeggiator actually doesn't transfer over to the MIDI keyboard and the MIDI keyboard will just play like normal. 
But it is kind of interesting because you could be playing the arpeggiator on the screen of your iPad or your iPhone, and then you could be playing your MIDI keyboard like normal, so that's kind of interesting. So anyways guys, that's how you connect your MIDI keyboard to your iPhone, Android device, iPad, whatever you happen to be using. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer your questions to the best of my ability. And if you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.